people welcome to my channel I'm Arpita Karwa and in this video lecture I'm going to talk about Mr. William Shakespeare we just celebrated the birth anniversary of Shakespeare a few days back on 23rd of April so I thought that how about making a video on Shakespeare and including details about the plays which are lesser known but which are important from net point of view. So in this video I'm going to talk about certain plays which we are not aware of or we do not read during our university graduation or post graduation but then they are important from net point of view. We all are aware of the four tragedies written by Shakespeare and work like Tempest and Twelfth Night but in this video I'm going to talk about certain works which we don't focus on but when the question comes in net exam we feel so bad that okay even after reading Shakespeare we were not able to answer that question. So before we talk about the works by Shakespeare let's first look at certain important details about Shakespeare's life. Now you all know that Shakespeare has written a play called Hamlet but what is important to know is that Shakespeare had a son called Hamnet and he died at the age of 11 and it has been said that somewhere Shakespeare was influenced by his death and it is only after his death that he got the idea that he should write a play called Hamlet where he could talk about father asking his son to take revenge. Another important factor about Shakespeare is that he worked in Globe Theatre. Now you must know that there were several theatres which were opened during the Elizabethan Renaissance and during that period we find that the theatres were very important and that is why the names of theatre or the order in which they were opened is being asked in net exam. So make sure that today before you go through the list of uh, theatres which were working during the Elizabethan England and you know the sequence in which they were opened. Globe Theatre was very famous because of two reasons. Number one, it was the three-storied theatre, wow, which is a kind of amphitheatre it was and it was situated in the outskirts of London near Thames River. Plus, all the major plays were performed by uh, actors in the Globe Theatre and that is why it became so important and so prominent. We also find a very, very influential statement given by T.S. Eliot when he talks about Shakespeare. He says that Shakespeare's primitiveness makes him the most modern of the modern. So Shakespeare's primitiveness, the primitiveness that is there in his plays, which is reflected in his works, is what makes his play relevant even in today's century. We also find that apart from plays, Shakespeare has written a lot of sonnets and poetry as well. So we find that he has written 154 sonnets in all. And out of his plays, we find that in first folio, 36 plays are there and two plays are not included in first folio. The name of the plays are Two Noble Kingsmen and Pericles. There was a play which is called Prince of Tyre which was earlier not included in the first folio but now it is accepted as a part of the first folio. Shakespeare's sonnets are celebrated throughout the globe. His sonnet number 18 is so remarkable that you know I, I always fall in love with these lines. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Then there is sonnet number 116 where he says that love is not love which alters when alteration finds and it is so remarkable if the person you are loving he grows old and your love for that person changes that means you would actually never in love with that person there is another sonnet which is sonnet number 130 which starts with the line that my mistress eyes are nothing like the sun coral is more red than her lips so we find that you know he was writing such a wonderful set of poems that you know we still celebrate it after so many ages so this was a short introduction about Shakespeare and his life and we just looked at um, you know his sonnets and few of his works now let's look at some really important work written by William Shakespeare which you must read if you're preparing for UGC Net English. Let's talk about the first play written by William Shakespeare and the name of the play is Two Gentlemen of Verona. In the play Two Gentlemen of Verona which is the first play by Shakespeare and that is why it is important to discuss this play we find that this is a story of two friends named Proteus and Valentine and both these friends go to the court of Duke of Milan and there they fell in love with their daughter of the Duke named Sylvia. The story 
revolves around these two friends and their love for Sylvia and towards the end we find that uh, Proteus marries Julia and Valentine marries Sylvia and this is how the play ends. What is important about this play is that this play has the, for the first time in this play female cross-dressing was there. So this was a question in November 2017 net exam that in which play of Shakespeare was uh, the instance of first female cross-dressing and the play is Two Gentlemen of Verona. The next important play by William Shakespeare is Comedy of Error. Now this play is important because the shortest and the fastest paced play by written by Shakespeare. We also find that it has a lot of elements of puns and slapstick comedy. So all these things are coming in. Mistaken identity is what drives the plot forward. You must be aware of this movie which is known as Angur by uh, you know Sanjeev Kumar. So Sanjeev Kumar was acted in this uh, movie Angur and this Angur movie is an uh, adaptation of Shakespeare's Comedy of Errors. So if you have not seen Comedy of Errors, do go and watch Angur movie. It's a fantastic, a very hilarious comic movie which will give you uh, an idea about Shakespeare's Comedy of Errors. What is important about this play, Comedy of Error, is that along with Tempest, this play, both of them were said to be uh, the plays written by Shakespeare which adhered to the unity of time. We find that Dr. Johnson has talked uh, and said about Shakespeare that all his plays followed the unity of action. We don't find the other two unities followed in his play. But here in Comedy of Errors and Tempest, we find that Shakespeare follows the classical unity of time. And that is what is important in this play. Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar has written uh, an adaptation of this play which is called Bhranti Bilash. And this was performed as a part of Bengal Renaissance. So Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar's adaptation is very important because somewhere down the line this adaptation was performed as a part of Bengal Renaissance. So I have talked about these two important works by William Shakespeare that we kind of neglect when we are studying Shakespeare from net point of view and these two works were Comedy of Error and Two Gentlemen of Verona. We'll be talking about other important works by Shakespeare in the next audio lecture. So before you uh, end this video do subscribe to my channel because I post videos for UGC net aspirants every Saturday and every Sunday also if you have not visited my website till now do go and check a list of all the important writers that you must uh, study if you are preparing for net exam you can also follow me on the social media platforms so that every time I post a net update or I post a go net quiz you are notified so we'll be meeting in the next video lecture till the time we meet next Happy learning, keep loving literature.